M0FXB, welcome to my videos on Ham Shack Hotline and learning about how to use Ham Shack Hotline. So, uh, we're going to go through the frequently, frequently asked que questions PDF that you get. If you put Ham Shack Hotline into Google, this comes up. And then if you want to go get the main homepage of Ham Shack Hotline, just scroll down and there's a little link here, this blue link here. Okay? And then it will bring you this page on the right. So let's just go through the questions one by one. I'll tell you what I've learned so far, or I'll just read what it says. So, can I use my SIP phone on the HH network? Uh, HH is Ham Shack Hotline. You may use any SIP endpoint that is in our supported endpoints list. See the list for further clarifications and reasoning. And all these kinds of lists, you'll find them just searching here um, on, on these pages. I'm not going to go into every one because we'll be here all day. So the link for this page will be in the description. Can I use a soft phone on HH? Now a soft phone is basically like a soft, an app on your Android device. Now they recommend one. I think they tell you um, which phone they recommend, which app they recommend further down, but it's basically software for running SIP phones. Right, can I connect my own PBX to HX? Yes, we support SIP and IAX trunking if your PBX also supports it. Just open a new trunk request via the help desk and our team will be happy to get you set up and explain details. Now the help desk is this thing here. You see, there's your help desk and once you've created your account, you'll be able to, what they call, open a ticket and when you open a ticket, you get a list of different questions and tasks that you want within the help desk. There's one here, general support. So any help you want, and it's all volunteers, so you know, um, uh, please just be patient. Um, open a ticket and you can ask questions about any of the following uh, items I'm now discussing, okay? So we'll just get you back to the hot home page. So let's just, um, I always get stuck on this. Here it is. I think that'll do for now. Right, and this is the page called Ham Shack Hotline Wiki with loads of information here, which I'm gradually working through and reading through. So anyway, <coughs> you've got that one. Um, I already have a device on your supported list. What do I need to get to get started? Easy peasy, just open a ticket, which I just showed you with our help desk, and include the MAC address. Now you can normally look this up in settings, um, or on the back of the device, uh, call sign and phone model. Our team will take care of it and let you know. And I can tell you now from experience, they're very quick and they assign you a number. Uh, they say that it will start working um, uh, you know, within a day. Uh, I don't have an SIP phone. Do you sell phones? The answer is no, but there are loads on eBay. Uh, just the one I like, because it's color screen, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, is the Cisco um 525g so make make sure it's un, uh, i would say make sure it's unlocked and factory uh, factory reset with no password in it so you can go into the admin because these phones you do control them via an ip address you know with well, that particular one you definitely do um, for the settings um, configuration <clears throat> so um uh, joining the team yes if you've got some sort of expertise Give them a message, tell them what you can do, and see if that's going to be useful to the team at HH. Now, I have a supported device I've been provisioned, but I can't seem to get a connection. What's wrong? So provisioned means you've got the device, you've been given the number. Um, there's, a, there's a section that you copy and paste into your browser to sort of activate your device. And if that isn't working, um, then you can, it says here, we have from time to time seen cases where connection can be challenging. We found that sometimes rebooting your cable modem and then your router tends to solve this problem. If you have done this and still have trouble, open a ticket. Again, help desk ticket. So remember, the word provisioning means basically activation. Um, can I have more than one? Yes, you can. That's handy because I've got a second device coming here. Uh, more for doing tests and further videos. I'd like to grab my club in on this. Can we have a bridge? Yes, please send a copy of your club call, EOC verifiable contact and we can establish a private or public bridge so there you go I think a bridge will be also give you a unique sort of number connect to your group uh, possibly like a like a having a back 
Batman phone in your shack. Uh, but I'll read this. Uh, uh, yes, uh, can I have a large group block numbers assigned for them? Is this possible? Yes, but only when evidence of hardware purchase commitment is provided. If your group already has phones, we'll ask you for information about what you've got. Do I have voicemail? Yes, it's definitely a voicemail uh, with HH. Do you support fax? Yes, is the answer. Can you call regular phones? Yes, but uh, if you go via HH, it says here, uh, then there's a $5 flat uh, fee monthly. Uh, you can purchase your own SIP termination, they call it, from a third party. So basically, you can use it as a normal phone, uh, but you have to pay for the privilege. Uh, what is the service area of HH? If I set my phone up at one location and then use it at another, will it work? The HH service area is largely defined by the quality of your internet connectivity. If your maximum latency is below 500 ms, you should enjoy trouble-free performance on HH. You can set up your phone at one location and it does not matter where you use your phone as long as the phone is able to contact our servers. So you basically need an internet connection. You can dial 43 on HH phone to access the echo test line. You can also dial 611 for the team. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? And then again, yeah, just supported endpoint. Endpoint, when they say HH supported endpoints, that means supported um, devices. And then HH covenant is more there, sort of, you know, how your code of conduct. So there's, we'll click the, the link there. We'll have just a quick look here. There's a phone book here. Services, you've got, I noticed this one here, sort of like a live kind of dashboard there. I haven't learned about this. I'm just looking at it now. So anyone who's using this, please furnish me with more information. Like so. So I think that's it. We'll call it a day there. I just thought I'd go through that. You know, the wiki page is massive, extensive. My device hasn't come yet, and I, I have applied for a soft phone, so I'll be doing videos how to set up a soft phone or app for using this system uh, and, and also your hardware with the SIP phone, which, again, are on eBay, and I'll just show you here while I'm at it. We'll just go eBay like so. Just for example, Cisco 525G as an example. This is UK, by the way. Um, not coming up now. Let's, let's put an SIP. There you are. There's a couple there straight away. Look, you've got the sidecar here as well. Um, so actually, I'll copy and paste that. Now, you know, look, some of the prices vary. I've seen some sell really cheap. Now, this, this one, I think, actually does work on the system. It's only £12.99. So just check that it's unlocked and things like that. So I'll just copy and paste that because someone's asked me where they could get one from. And this is actually the same one that I got. So 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. All the best.